Nell Gwyn House is a 10-story residential block of flats in Sloan Avenue in the heart of London. Completed in 1937, it was designed the Art Deco style by the legendary Scottish architect George K. Green. In 2010, NGH Freehold Limited, a management company representing 75% of the lessees, bought the freehold. At the time this was the UK's largest collective enfranchisement. Nine lifts and five gas-powered boilers serve the 430 apartments. The flats are individually owned and used in a number of ways. Only 10% of the flats are owner-occupied. Of the remaining flats, half let on assured short-hold tenancies with the remainder rented out as holiday lets from two nights to two weeks through the independent in-house letting offices whom the management team work with closely. With the building being located in the heart of Chelsea it makes an ideal base for people exploring the capital. With such a high turnover in residence, the building has more of a hotel feel and it takes a special team to keep both the back and front of house running smoothly. The team comprises of a general manager and building manager who between them have worked at on-site for a combined total of 39 years. Add to this a head porter who has completed 28 years service and you know that you have the most loyal and knowledgeable management team any building could wish to have. The remaining 11 members of staff work as porters, cleaners, and in maintenance and ensure the building runs efficiently and is open for business 24-7, 365 days a year. Major works can be a challenge. Given the vastness of the building, when the corridor carpets are changed, every 10 years or so, nearly 2 miles of carpet has to be ordered. All major works projects are co-managed by the Bell Harbour property management team and their appointed surveyor, with the on-site team ensuring the lessees and residents are kept informed of progress and any disturbances likely as a result of works. Our most recent project was the renovation of the front driveway. You will see the impressive finishes and lighting scheme in this presentation, all of which were bespoke deigned for the building in an attempt to restore its image of 1930s glamour.